Welcome back. Now in sports, the Melanesian Spearhead Group Prime Minister's Cup competition is confirmed for December in Honiara. This comes after the official signing off of the host agreement this morning by the Melanesian Spearhead Group Director General Leonard Loma and the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Home Affairs. The signing ceremony was witnessed by the CIF President and CEO, the National Sports Council CEO and other government representatives and guests. The Melanesian Spearhead Group Prime Minister's Cup, which used to be referred as the Melanesian Cup, was reactivated in 2022 in Vanuatu. In 2023 was hosted in New Caledonia and this year Solomon Islands become host to the MSG 2024 Prime Minister's Cup with the official opening ceremony scheduled for the 9th of December. This is a, a significant event and the importance of it I think uh, should never be uh, underestimated. If you look at the results of the Pacific Games, the Melanesian uh, teams did very well. They, they were the ones that went into the final. It does suggest to me that we are doing something right and correct in the Prime Minister's Cup. We are preparing our teams to be able to compete with other teams in the region and compete and be successful. So that's the importance of the MSG Prime Minister's Cup. But apart from that, there is this development uh, aspect of sports that I think many of us uh, uh, downplay or refuse to acknowledge. If we arrange our sports events in a way that we utilize it for development purposes, you will find it will be viewed by our governments in a different light. Instead of them regarding it as just a social expenditure, they will regard it as an expenditure into something that could draw in funding, that could draw in economic benefits to the country. There will be five countries participating this year and Solomon Islands with the chances of fielding two teams for the competition. Solomon Islands are the current cup holders beating New Caledonia in last year's MSG Prime Minister's Cup. A working group has already been established to focus on preparations in the lead up towards the competition in December. Government has made a commitment allocation of $5 million towards the MSG 2024 Prime Minister's Cup. And finally, now in sports, despite going down on penalties in the final group match, Solomon Islands' Billy Kiki makes it to the finals. The 2024 OFC Men's Beach Soccer Nations Cup will see Tahiti's Tiki Toa go up against Solomon Islands' Billy Kiki this weekend. Now today, Fiji shocked the home crowd in a penalty shootout in the final group match and ended their group stage campaign on a high after losing both their initial two matches. On the other hand, Solomon Islands will go up against Tahiti, which will be a repetition of last year's match. Now, will the home crowd be an advantage for Billy Kiki? And will playing outside of Tahiti create added pressure? for the reigning champions this time around. The decider and finals go down this weekend on Saturday at the CIF Academy. And that also concludes our Tavoli News Bulletin for today. You can revisit our stories on our socials, that's on Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. And also, if you have any stories, comments or feedback you wish to share, you can always send us an email. That's newsdesk at tavolinews.com.sb. I'm Lisa Ossifello. Thank you for joining us.